Have you ever walked along a path and seen a rock that sparkles in the sun? It catches your eye, a tiny flash of silver, a tiny flash of gold. You might have wondered what that beautiful shiny thing could be. There is a very good chance that what you saw was a mineral called mica. It is a truly remarkable crystal, one of the planet's hidden gems, though it is not a gemstone in the way a diamond is. Mica is special because it is not a solid chunk like most rocks. Instead, it is made of incredibly thin layers, stacked one on top of the other like pages in a book. This structure is what gives it that wonderful, unmistakable shimmer. Mica is not just one single thing, it is actually a family of minerals. Some are dark, like biotite, which can be almost black. Others are light and silvery, like muscovite, which is one of the most common kinds. There are many different types, each with its own name and subtle differences. This family of crystals is found all over our world, tucked away inside larger rocks. They are a fundamental part of the Earth's crust, a silent witness to the immense forces that shape our planet. Their story is a journey from deep within the Earth to the sunlight on the surface, a story of heat, pressure, and incredible transformation. The name mica itself has a rather lovely origin. It comes from the Latin word micar, which means to glitter or to flash. And what a perfect name it is. It looks delicate, almost fragile, as if a breath of wind could separate its layers. Yet it is also surprisingly resilient. It can withstand great heat and it does not conduct electricity. It is a material of fascinating contradictions. Learning about mica is like uncovering a secret. It is a material that is all around us, yet most people do not know its name. It is in the ground beneath our feet, in the very walls of our homes and the devices we use every day. Because it forms in common rock types, mica is found all over the world. Great deposits are mined in countries like India, China, Brazil, and Canada. Miners extract it as large crystalline formations known as books, then carefully split them to obtain thin, flexible sheets. It is sorted by size, color, and quality. The finest, clearest sheets are the most valuable, but nothing is wasted. This humble, glittering crystal plays a surprisingly large role in our modern world. So let us begin our journey to truly understand this wonderful, shimmering substance. The most captivating feature of mica is, without a doubt, its appearance. It has a special kind of shine, a pearly luster, a glassy luster that sets it apart from duller rocks. As you turn it in your hand it flashes and glimmers, reflecting light from its perfectly flat surfaces. Mica is what we call a sheet silicate. At a microscopic level its atoms are arranged in flat hexagonal sheets, strongly bonded together, but the bonds between the sheets are weak. This gives mica its perfect cleavage. It can be split or cleaved into incredibly thin, flexible sheets. These sheets can be so thin that they are transparent, like a sheet of glass, yet they remain remarkably strong and flexible. You can bend them, and they will spring right back into shape. In the past it was used as a substitute for glass, earning the name Muscovy glass. Mika also comes in a wonderful variety of colors. The most common, Muscovite, is often silvery white or lightly golden. Another common type is Biotite, typically dark brown or black because of iron and magnesium. Then there is Lepidolite, often lilac or pink, its color from lithium. In granite, tiny specks of silver or black are scattered throughout, adding depth and sparkle. In schist, aligned crystals give a layered, almost silky sheen. Whether a large perfect book or a million tiny flakes, mica brings brilliance to the mineral world. The formation of mica is a story of immense patience, unfolding over geological timescales. Mica crystallizes from cooling magma when the right ingredients are present, including silicon, oxygen, aluminum, potassium, and water. Slow cooling, especially in pegmatites, can grow enormous books of mica. Mica also forms through metamorphism when heat and pressure realign and recrystallize minerals without melting. Clay-rich rocks transform, growing aligned sheets of mica and creating foliation. This is why a piece of schist often splits along mica-rich layers. Mica is an excellent electrical insulator and highly resistant to heat. It prevents short circuits and survives high temperatures, making it indispensable in electronics and heated environments. Ground into fine powder, mica becomes a pearlescent pigment that gives paints, inks, plastics, and cosmetics their shimmer. Beyond beauty, flakes reinforce materials like drywall compound, plastics, rubber, and even drilling mud. From the walls of our homes to the makeup we wear and the cars we drive, mica is nature's glitter and a quiet essential of modern life.